Good morning, church, and happy Sabbath. Bonjour l'église et bon sabbat dans le Seigneur. First, I would like to thank God for the opportunity to speak on his behalf to his people. Any moment to speak on God's behalf is a blessing. God doesn't need to use me, but he chooses to, and I am blessed and thankful that he does. Second, I'd like to thank my family and friends for their continued support, prayer, and encouragement. We have some special visitors. I would like Naraya Cesar and her family to stand up. I am really grateful for these people. I've known them since I was younger. And um, they take their time out of their day to bring me to school in the morning, and I'm very thankful for that. I would also like to thank Brother Max Desir for choosing me to fulfill the assignment of Youth Spotlight. I would like to thank my dad, known as Elder Lisner Bilias, for advising me with this message he was also preaching today. And a special thank you to our pastor, Pastor Sheila Pierre, for allowing me to stand on this pulpit. Thank you. This morning, our verse is found in the book of Isaiah 40, verse 31. And it reads, but those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not faint. In curl, it says, Messiah abai moon ki mette confiancio na li fos encore. Before we start, I would like to say a quick word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come in this sanctuary this morning to praise you, give you glory and honor that you only deserve. I ask that this message I've brought to you for your people, that they understand it, and that the words that come out of my mouth may not be mine, but yours. In the name of the Lord, I pray. Amen. The title of my message this morning is Wait on Him. What is the title? In this period of time, we are in currently what I like to call the election season. People are debating on which side they should be. Kamala Harris as the representative of democracy, and on the other side, we have Donald Trump as a representative of Republicans. That means our main focus is not on God, therefore is on the world around us. Most of the time, we're focused on the leaders of the world, and we seem to forget about the leader who created the world. Today, I advise you to stay on God's side instead of the women and men on the earth. In our lives, our main struggle seems to be patience. Instead of letting God handle it and going on his path, we think it's better to take our shortcuts. God's road is a straight path, but your road gets you lost. Some examples of God putting people on hold are Abraham and Sarah. They had to wait 25 years for their promised son. Joseph had to wait in prison and eventually became king. Moses had to walk through a desert to lead people to the promised land. Job had to suffer but was rich in eternal life. David had to wait to become king. The point of these examples are when God tells you to wait, he will come back. And that means when my God says yes, Nobody can say no. Pas de maladie, pas de problème, pas de persécution, pas de porte qui ferme, pas de montagne qui campe devant que bon Dieu pas de solution. Because God can handle it. My demonstration for this this morning, I'm going to ask Anna to come up and help me. I have this basket right here. And in this basket, I have water bottles. These water bottles represent your burdens. Can you handle it? Can you handle it? Can you handle it? Well, sometimes these burdens overflow. And this basket, this represents God. Give it all to God. God can handle it. In Isaiah 59 verse 1, it reads, Listen, the Lord's arm is not too weak to save you, nor is his ear too deaf to hear you. 
With that being said, my message to you is no matter what you are going through, God will always provide a solution. In the moment of depression, wait on Jesus. In the moments of struggle, wait on Jesus. In the moment of grief, wait on Jesus. In the moment when you don't see your way out, wait on Jesus. Le kai pa ka paye, tan Jesus. Lo pa we a gauche ou pa we a droite, tan Jesus. Le docteur dit ou pa gen espoir, tan Jesus. Même si ou pa we comme l'école pour le payer, tan Jesus. I have great news for you today. In Hebrews 13 verse 8 it says, Jesus Christ is the same to yesterday, today and forevermore. That means whatever you are going through, always always count on Jesus because he can handle. May God bless you and happy Sabbath. say church.